This is 12th in a series of tutorial videos on World Editor from Laminar Research. Creating Traffic Flow Info A traffic flow will define a configuration for your runways. In reality, most large airports will have multiple flows for traffic depending upon weather conditions, so World Editor allows you to create more than one traffic flow as well. To create a traffic flow for the selected airport, open the airport menu and click Create Traffic Flow. This will add a flow to the hierarchy pane. After selecting the newly created flow in the hierarchy pane, you can go back to the airport menu and select a runway use rule, a runway time rule, or a runway wind rule. A runway use rule defines how various runways are to be used. Note that a runway can be used more than once, so a flow could use a particular runway for arrivals and turboprops and could use the same runway for departures and props. If there are no runway uses provided, X-Plane's artificial intelligence will pick a runway for aircraft. A runway time rule is pretty self-explanatory. It defines a set of times the flow can be used. If none is provided, X-Plane will assume that it can be used at any time. A runway wind rule will define wind limitations on a traffic flow. If a rule meets the current weather conditions, the flow can be used, and if not, it won't be used. Note that the taxi routes generated by X-Plane's artificial intelligence are not part of the flow. These routes do not change with flow. To create taxiway routings for the AI aircraft, use the Taxi Routes tool to trace the path the aircraft should take. To do this efficiently, you may want to preset the Taxi Route tool using the Tool Defaults bar at the top of the window. Then, you can draw all departure paths together, all paths for a specific runway together, and so on. 